When Dwayne Farnsworth moved into his new house about a month ago, he didn't know he was getting waterfront property. No, we found out yesterday. But the five inches of rain dumped on the mountains near his house quickly turned into considerably more on his front yard. Well, we're getting flooded out. Too much water. He says when they moved in, nobody told him this could happen in his basement. Water got up to here. Neither Dwayne nor his pump got much rest last night. But until the river decides to let him out of his driveway, they'll just go with the flow. Just wait for the water to go down and go on with our daily activity. Just a few hundred yards down the river, there was nothing normal about Route 15. Last night we could drive just a little tiny bit. Kelly Picard and her family drive this road nearly every day going to soccer practice. The kids were really excited to come and see and check it out. With an eight mile detour, she's hoping that the river on the road will soon become water under the bridge. It's pretty cool to look at though. While the rising waters are an inconvenience for some, downstream they're a big problem for others. Well, we have a lot of water in our field. Laurie Boyden owns Boyden Farm. While crops do need rain, she says this was too much of a good thing. Usually we have beautiful green hay fields, uh, corn fields ready to harvest. She said one silver lining is the water in her fields is relatively slow move, leaving the plants in place. The same cannot be said of the river where the valley takes it next. Temporary cornfield lakes turning into Vermont's version of Niagara Falls. That's that amazing volume of water that's coming through these normally trampled falls. Dave Becker and Karen Taylor couldn't help but get out of their car. Just wanted to stop and take a look like everybody else. Joining dozens of others trying to capture what five inches of rain looks like two days later. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. In Cambridge, Mitch Pittman, Fox 44 Local News.